Hello again, everybody. After all of the great questions posed to me in the Facebook group, and I tried to respond to as many as possible, I realized that there was one question that is kind of unanswered. And it is the question that has been asked by far the most ever since the life-size city hit the airwaves. And the question is really quite simple. Why can't I see it? Why is it geo-blocked in my country? What's up with that? And it's really a fair question. And man, it's on the social media for the Life Size City, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, we have been asked this question so many times over the past three years since the first premiere uh, of the series. And I thought that maybe I should just explain it in a little video here. I'm on a roll with these things anyway, right? So the idea came to me and my friend Nick, who's the executive producer on the series years ago, too many years ago, drinking red wine in his home. We started talking about uh, an urbanism series and there was nothing out there, so why don't we start thinking about that? And we did. And it went into development and finally, Nick's production company in Montreal secured a broadcaster, a television channel that said, we want to do this. This is a really great idea. That was TVO, TV Ontario in Canada. So we started production. After TVO gets to show it in Canada because they're the ones who have the, the primary rights to it. So they get the rights to the premiere uh, of each season. Then we can sell it to other countries around the world, which we have done. I don't know how many there are at the moment. Maybe 13, 14 different countries have shown it. Um, boy, I'm not going to list them all here, but uh, national TV in Finland, Denmark, Belgium, and channels in Austria for the German-speaking countries, France, Italy, Hong Kong, Greece, and right at the moment, it's showing in the United States uh, on Link TV and also on KCET, which is a channel in Los Angeles. So, and then there's others that I've forgotten, but that's how it works. They pay for the rights to show it in their country or sometimes territory. And of course, it's my idea. It's just my baby. I want everybody on the planet to be able to just go click play and see everything that we have created. And man, that is the real dream for an idealist like me, but that's not the way that the TV industry works. So what we need is to have TV stations. If you're in a place where they're not showing it, uh, we need a TV station there, a channel, a broadcaster to purchase the rights for that territory. And I find it interesting over the last couple of years uh, to observe how some of the questions are phrased. We live in a society where we can stream all manner of content on demand. Right? You got your Netflix, your HBOs, you got all of the other channels that uh, I don't even know because they're in other countries. But we have this expectation that if there is some content we want to see, we should be able to stream it and stream it now. So we've actually had the question on our social media sometimes like, why isn't this on Netflix? Like indignant that they don't have the opportunity to just press play and watch. And yeah, I get it. That's just sort of the way the world works at the moment. But the same things apply. Netflix is a broadcaster. And if you want it on Netflix, Netflix has to purchase it, et cetera, et cetera. So there might be some opportunity here for some local lobbying in your country, finding your national broadcaster or one of the channels that shows cool documentaries uh, and sending an email, getting some friends to send some emails and asking them, why don't you acquire the rights to this TV series? I don't get into all the details, but I mean, it's not outrageously expensive for uh, any broadcaster in many countries in the world. So there's the opportunity to push a little bit. It, maybe they don't even know that it exists, right? So maybe you can make them aware that this documentary series about urbanism, because urbanism is a thing, and so many broadcasters are looking for content like this. Maybe you can push some buttons and we can see what happens. Send us a message on the Facebook group. Uh, if you have any questions about that, um, you write your own damn emails, right? But I mean, we can maybe uh, help and advise in, in, in some way if you wanted to contact your local TV station, your national broadcaster, whoever. So yeah, I want you all to see it right now. Like as soon as I shut up here, it just starts rolling season one and two, man. And then season three and four coming in the fall of 2020. I want it all out there right now but I can't. So maybe there's some creative thinking involved here and some lobbying work and a little bit of pressure put on uh, your national broadcasters or local broadcasters. Hope that explains 
the situation. And uh, thank you so much for asking the question. All of you have done so through the years. It just shows us that you want to see the series, which really feels good. And uh, I hope everybody has the opportunity to see it in the near future. See you soon.